Greetings YouTube, welcome to Zero AD Newbie Rush. I'm Jim Kogan and we have another midweek 1v1 duel here. Again, not newbies, no newbies have submitted any games to me. So I can't really call it a midweek noob duel, it is just a duel. Um, let's have a look at our players. We're on what looks like a medium sized and it looks like a temperate uh, uh, mainland map. In the north, uh, king of the unpronounceable names. <laughs> Let's have a go at this then. I'm going to go with... Ch now, is that an L or an... Oh, good Lord. Chibankat? Chibankat 1. Chibankat 1. There you go. Uh, I will have murdered that name, and apologies to Chibankat 1, but serves you right for having such an unpronounceable name. There we go. Chibankat 1 is playing as the Macedonians, rated 1325, so in the kind of newer player territory. And he is sizing up against submitter of this game, old friend of the channel, Morda in the red, playing as the Romans, rated too noob to play. Uh, to be honest, last time that um, Morda actually had a rating, it was round about 1375 heading into 1400 territory. And I dare say, technically, he deserves a higher rating than that. Doesn't do many 1v1 games. So this is uh, a bit of a departure for him. Let's see how things are shaping up and what they're doing. So, Chivankat, don't know anything about him, don't know how experienced a player he is. Hasn't put down a farmstead, so that's probably not a good sign. Uh, gone straight in for food and direct collecting wood. There is now a house going up, but not exploiting any other wood lines. He is still collected the chickens, but has got a hunt within the boundaries of his base, so that's not too bad. Straight away, Morda has created some cavalry and is going to hassle him from the off. Uh, so, yeah, Morda has got six cavalry, of which four are hassling him from the very beginning. They all go scrambling into the CC. Morda's got at least one kill. Population-wise, it's 20 for Morda, plays 24 for Chibankat, 9 infantry for Chibankat, and only 4 infantry, but 6 cav. 2 kills now for Morda, and this will have slowed down. He's murdered his uh, murdered Chibankat's cavalryman, and static female citizens gone straight to farming. Uh, I think this is a terrible start for uh, Chibankat. He's going to lose more here if they don't get inside quick. Uh, Morda now will be taking fire from the CC. He's lost uh, at least no, just one of his horses. And I think Morda says, job done. I've caused enough irritation. I'm getting out of here. Let's have a look, see how Morda's base is shaping out. Oh, no, they're coming back in again. You never know with Morda when he's quite done. Um, it is absolute harassment here, and I think he's going to get some more easy kills. So he sent the sick horseman back, but he's got at least one there. And he's going to get another one. Is he being greedy? He's going to lose this horse here, surely. They run away now. They're both very close to death. This one is now officially dead, and this one is down to 16, and that will be Morda's lot, surely. Yes, uh, just uh, infantry over here. So Morda, interesting. Five kills plays two, but still behind in uh, population. And let's see what Morda's base finally looks like. Morda has got a farmstead, he's got women collecting berries, four of them, hasn't got the berry upgrade, has a more traditional woodline going on here, six female citizens, four infantry, and that is the sum total of his population. He's got one uh, horse in there convalescing, another one that will be joining him, and another four that are hunting. But other than that, it's pretty even still, despite that raid. Has that psychologically had the effect that Morda wanted? Um, it throws you out when you get attacked like that really early on, before you've even settled. So, not sure how that will have affected Chaban Cat, um, whether he's had to deal with this kind of intimidation before. Population-wise, it's now changed back slightly into Morda's favour. He's got 30, he's 28. 
and still a slightly bigger infantry for Chibanka. He's got eight plays four. Morda comes back in again, this time with another eight carav, gets more kills. So he's got a total of 10 cavalry. Eight of them are now plaguing Chibanka again. So his development is being stifled. I've seen Morda do this before. If you let him, this will be the death of you. Um, what can Chibankat do? I suppose putting up uh, a couple of sentry towers might be handy. It, would he get a chance with the horses coming back in again? All eight of them come in again on this soft target here. They Every time they come out to do their work, they're being chased away. There's, the infantry here now are outnumbered. Um, they're probably not going to want to fight this he's got no men in the cc to um to to fire from the cc so nothing to really put mortar off that much seven kills plays two and coming in again so jabankat will be sick of the sight of these cavalry um the female citizens have not come back out so not collecting food at this point he is making some uh uh, what are they like spear or palasts? I don't know whether I'm assuming they are sort of uh, spearmen or pikemen yeah, not very good on the Macedonians I've tried playing with them a few times and I was terrible even more so than usual uh, in come the cavalry again they're going to get some more kills here I would have thought yep there's an eighth and a ninth and you can hear death cries all the time he's lost a horse but uh all of the time, gradually, Morda is increasing his own population. He's stopped making Cav now. He is uh, presumably making female citizens and populating farms. Yeah, there we go. No barracks yet for either side at the moment, but this still goes on. He's now picking off the infantry. There is a sentry tower, and this sentry tower could actually get denied. Uh, I think they're going to get the sentry tower up, but whilst he's working on the sentry tower, he goes back in for the women again. They abandon production of the sentry tower. And, I, oh dear, it's just from one place to another place to another place. He's now down to five uh, cavalry left for the killing of 14 of Chibankat. It's since Chibankat now over... Uh, nearly 15 behind. It's 39 plays 25 Chibankat. Chibankat has just boosted that to 30. He's built another sentry tower here, one here, and I think he's going to finish this one. Is he going to put anybody in them? Morda said, job well done. And yeah, there yeah. are two, uh, two infantry chasing after them. I don't recommend that. One of them is like on next to no yeah, health. See? He's only 11, so like anybody breathes on him, it'll kill him. Uh, so I can't see the point yeah, in this. Uh, they are now sort of sort of stood there. Are they gonna, what are yeah, they doing? Yeah. Uh, they should pull them back, heal one of them and get the other one working. He needs numbers on the ground here. It's 44 plays 30. Um, and despite this increase in infantry, uh, or in this slight infantry advantage, uh, Chibankat's in a very perilous position. They are still there. They are yes. not contributing to economy. They're not attacking anything. The only thing you could say about them is they are not dead. They yes. are contributing positively to his population, but that is it. So, uh, yeah, I don't understand yes. this. Morda looks pretty calm with it. Uh, his... Uh, surviving eight infantry are convalescing they may go again he's got multiple female citizens coming out now his farming is well and truly established more farms to come he's got a decent wood line here starting to thin out got a barracks up and still the two yes, uh the two <laughs> two infantrymen are there not doing anything that's uh, a bit of an oversight. What's coming out of the CC? Nothing's coming out of the CC. So Chibank Hat very, has been slowed right down. Despite the fact he's got all these resources, he could be, he should be making uh, new, uh, new troops right now. But he is struggling. He's uh, struggling for wood as well. He's yes, only he got the one wood line on the go at the moment. He's converted wholly over to farms, but he's doing fine for farms. It's wood he needs. Um, he's now making another five infantry, but no, yes, he? he can put a barracks up. 
bar the uh, Macedonian barracks are quite cheap, so uh, barracks would be a good move at this point. Still got... I know they've finally been called back. They've yeah, decided that they are going to achieve nothing over there. Bit of impromptu scouting, I guess. Let's just have a quick look, see the difference between... So Morda has seen all of this chunk of the map, including uh, up close and personal on uh, Chibankat's base. Chibankat has seen next to nothing. He's done a little bit of uh, scouting in this incursion with those infantry guys. But uh, he does know he's got some hunt there. Maybe it's not too late to go into Cav himself. But uh, with Morda marauding with cavalry and still with cavalry numbers, the cavalry, he's making cavalry again. It's gone back up to 11 now. And there are the cavalry. It's 11 of them. Are they going to be hunting this huge uh, swathe of hunt here? Or is he going to be looking for more, more advantage? We're 10 minutes in. Uh, both players still in phase one. Um, I would expect Morda possibly to be able to get to phase two pretty fast from this point onwards. He spent a lot of his time microing these incursions. Up here, it's a mix of female citizens, but mostly infantry. We have now got a watchtower, albeit an un a garrisoned watchtower that could get captured. We've got two miners who could be easy targets, but and they are being engaged here more cavalry coming in from the side so Mordor is attacking from all angles absolutely stops the food production again they come running out the cc silly uh, i think they were new female citizens and they are going to die before they've even contributed to anything there's only one of them made it to the wood line that was a disaster for chibank cat and uh 15 women inside the cc the infantry that were mining have been wiped out. He's now got three women in a sentry tower. Uh, they come back out and he's got two two infantry in this one. Um, Border's got to run straight past him, so he will take some fire from this. They've just come out and started mining just as Morda came in again. Uh, that was unlucky, and they seem to be struggling to get back into the tower. That would be the best place for them to go, or into the CC. But instead, Morda claims another couple of easy victims. Only women, one woman in that tower. And it's looking terrible. Morda, in the meantime. Uh, oh, strangely. Chibankat has decided this is the time to go to phase two while he's being pummeled all over and is 40 behind in population. Um, Morda's cruising this. Uh, he is making it look very pedestrian, to be perfectly honest and horse is coming in again and i think Morda knows he's got him on the rails the population gap just through the harassment and uh the way that uh, chibokat has been wholly unable to establish himself anywhere he's gonna run out of wood here um he's got 16 infantry there but every time the women come out to try and gather food and food is he's got a pretty much a surplus of food he is not making new troops, hasn't got barracks to, to sort of really bolster his troop production. Morda is just hanging on the flank, sending one in, then the other. As soon as uh, the women come back out, uh, <laughs> look at that. It's almost timing. He waited, he came back in even before they had come out. These He's now got proper uh, defense towers now. They've all upgraded, but... Uh, it's not making a lot of difference. Morda's up to 92. Uh, it's got an infantry of 20, cavalry of 14. Chibankat has only got published 45, infantry of 18, no cav. At some point, I think Morda will just decide, you know, he's far enough behind, he will rip through the phases. Morda's now gone to phase two. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if he does a lightning quick phase two, it soups up his troops a bit and then just brings brings the end to this really quick. We could be done in under 20 minutes here. As the cavalry come in again from all sides, it's 23, 25 kills for Morda, 27 kills for Morda. He's lost a few, he's lost five, but... 
um, now population gap of 61, 65, and it's growing 106 for Morda, plays 40 for uh, Chaban Cat. This is looking increasingly desperate as Morda pulls back. Is that it for Cavalry now? Has he done enough to now focus on the next stage of this game? Uh, we are seeing market going up, so pretty traditional phase two from uh, Morda right now. I think that's his only phase two building that he is, he's got on the go. He's going to do this one at a time. He can take his time. Interestingly, because he's got four defense towers, four defense towers hasn't even got a barracks at this stage. Like, has he got enough wood to build a barracks? Yeah, he's got more than enough wood to build a barracks, but he uh, is struggling for food. He is pretty low on food. Is there anything coming out? There's more women coming out. He cannot bolster his military because he just can't get his economy started. Um, Morda has just totally crippled him. You'd have to say that it looks like a question of when, not if, in terms of uh, uh, Morda coming down and crushing him. Possibly, if he could get some cav out in a hurry, he might be able to take advantage of all this hunt here for a very quick food boost. But it would need to be a lightning thing. And he's building houses still. Let's have a look at uh, Chibank Hat's situation. Uh, he doesn't need to be building houses. He's nowhere near pop capped. He needs people. Um, he needs to fill that current population uh, cap that he's got. Uh, finally, we're seeing a barracks for Chaban Cat. Um, I think this is going to be too little, too late. Still not exploited the hunt that could be sustaining his population whilst he's trying to hastily set his farms up. Um, Mulder has no such problems. We are seeing watchtowers, uh, not watchtowers, defense towers, a temple going up here. We're seeing another defense tower going up slowly. I don't think he's even going to bother with a blacksmith, but he has bothered with a blacksmith. He's got it there. He is, what is he? One building short of being able to reach phase three, and then he'll need a little bit of stone and metal and the horses exploiting this hunt right under Chibang Hat's nose here got no defense towers up here if he decides to come in there's still quite a lot of female citizens the amount of cav that uh Morda's got he could probably come in here and take this um this would not be an even fight at all is Morda gonna lay misery on and actually strengthen his troops or the all of the cavalry are on the move i think he might be going for a knockout blow we could see a resignation long before we see a phase three phase up at this stage yeah, uh, if all of these guys come in and hit this group here, he's got nothing to defend this. They have started to go in tentatively and more misery there. Going to come in and work on the fields again. And this will further set, uh, this will further set Chibank Hat back. He's been somewhat outplayed here. Um, the infantry are chasing this cavalry. This is a folly. Most of them are quite badly injured. They won't take one or two hits. And they're going to run straight into Morda's cavalry coming out. And uh, it's a... Uh it's infantry and a cavalry sandwich there. It's not good. Not good at all. Kills going up all the time for Morda. 40, 1, 2, 3, and Morda's planned a sneaky military camp behind anyway. And in that exchange, Chavan Cat managed to kill no one and lost a, just another 10 troops. He's now got only 7 infantry. His population are in uh, a complete lockdown, uh, sort of uh, game repeating life there, imitating life as we talk. Uh, he has got. He's got some some garrison towers, so this is not so much a soft target anymore. But his infantry has been decimated. Anything that comes over here is being murdered. Uh, yeah, Chabankat really needs to resign at this point. Morda's gone to phase three. He's got a military colony going up. He's captured the barracks that took so long to cut up and simply destroyed it. 
and uh, Shabang Cat is finished. He is so beaten, it's unbelievable. Well, are we 18 minutes down? Can Morda force his hand and make him quit before 20? The only thing his army have got to look forward to is a crushing, murderous defeat. Uh, I think he should chuck the towel in here. Kill death ratio for Morda is 10.7 to 1. Absolutely brutal. And just never been allowed to develop, not been allowed to start. There it is. Resignation from Chibag Cat on 19 minutes and 9 seconds. Let's have a look at how that went down. Yeah. Um, so cavalry, always a big feature of Morda's game. He raised 32 of them. And uh, yeah, he he killed 75 of Chibag Cat's troops over the course of that uh, 19 minutes and 9 seconds and every time he came over he just stifled Chivanka completely the kill death ratio there it is um, that's disappointing for Chivanka 0 0.09 one of the lowest I've ever seen I guess it's it, it was just uh, he just did not know how to defend that rush and it was a rush that never ended and it was one he never recovered from so nothing much going on in tech. Nobody really went for upgrades. Uh, a farming upgrade, a gathering upgrade, and a woodcutting upgrade. It was not a tech orientated game. It came down to the speed with which Morda raised that cavalry and how he used them and how Chibang Hat did not know how to defend against them. So congratulations to Morda. That was a pretty comprehensive win. And uh, yeah. So good, good lesson on how to raise cavalry as the Romans and how to completely, completely stifle your opponent if your opponent is not completely switched on to defending. Good performance from Morda. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a comment, drop a like, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to be notified of future episodes. If you'd like one of your matches featured on the show, see the video description of how you can submit your replays. And if you can't wait for the next episode, then why not check out these playlists in the end titles for more replays, commentary and tutorials on Zero AD Newbie Rush. I'll see you in the next video.